Apparently the Leeds review was the best review you've ever done. It wasn't. Sheffield was far superior. The Falkirk genius was outrageously kind too. I don't get it. This man is a playwright and has a turn of phrase to die for. Reading one of his throwaway lines is like being beaten with a stick of your own inadequacy. I hate him. Hello Andrew. The praise didn't take the pain away and make up for realising you're still alive when you wake up in the morning though. Columbo is based on the Father Brown stories by G.K. Chesterton. This was a revelation to me. And that's going to be the most interesting part of this review. So we'll stop here. Good night all. Still watching? Okay, then I'll begin. I can't remember why another trip to London was deemed appropriate. Oh yes, it's because London is fucking gorgeous. No excuse is ever required to visit. I stumbled upon the Royal Academy of Arts Summer Exhibition website and it looked worth investigating. But what's this? You have to pay to visit the Summer Exhibition. Pay? For culture? This is against my socialist principles. Culture is for the masses, not just for the rich. Grumble, grumble, moan, moan. OK, here's your blood money. There was also a photographic exhibition on the second floor and I tried to enter with my summer exhibition ticket but they weren't wearing it. Bastards. It's broken record time again. No photos. The staff were as zealous as the ones at the Hearst exhibition in Leeds. Walking around in an over-officious way and eyeing everyone with suspicion. Gallery notes are included in the ticket price and all the works are numbered and listed in the guide along with their prices as nearly all the works are for sale. In some of the galleries the pieces were hung too close together. Too much art is overwhelming and you find yourself in danger of missing things. Here are some pieces I didn't miss and caught my eye. and a short video from the Western Rooms. The Anselm Kiefer piece can also be seen in the video. You can't tell from the video, but a lot of the galleries were overcrowded. I suppose this is due to the Royal Academy's proximity to Piccadilly Circus. Too much of a tourist trap. People are not welcome in my misanthropic world. Aside, your videos are awful, T. No wonder Charlotte left you. Well, that was the Royal Academy Summer Exhibition. Was it worth attending? Absolutely. There were some excellent pieces. It was just too busy and officious to be a relaxing experience. Google Maps is in love with Russell Square. It must be. No matter which gallery I attend, it routes me past it. I'm sure it's not always the quickest way but I'm lost without this navigation aid. And lost I was. When having exited the Royal Academy, I headed for my next destination. It was too cloudy to pick up a satellite signal and I had to navigate by old-fashioned map reading. 
it was pathetic to behold. Where was I struggling to attend next without the aid of Satnav? It will come as no surprise that it was Tate Britain. One shouldn't need Satnav to find Tate Britain from Piccadilly Circus. All you need to do is head for the Thames and walk down to Millbank. I can't find the Thames from town though, and refuse to use the tube. You miss the beautiful architecture, and the walking substitutes for your day off from cycling. I received a complaint about the last review of Tate Britain. Was asked why the review abruptly stopped without completing the tour. These reviews are only an excuse to crowbar in my weak gags and moan about how disillusioned and unhappy I am without Charlotte and abuse the Tory scum. They're not a comprehensive tour of galleries and destinations. Any normal person would reread their initial review. But I can't be bothered, so apologies for any repeats. The Devine Galleries are currently hosting the Single Form Exhibition. It's a beautiful space, sparsely populated with beautiful sculptures. There was a short walkthrough video from the previous Tate Britain review. Here are some pictures of the sculptures not featured in that video. and some other works from Tate Britain. I'm fascinated the way Gilbert and George are the subject of their own art. I watched an excellent interview with them called Mark Lawson Talks to Gilbert and George the other week. There's a link to the interview in this video's description. Directions were only sought from me once while in London. I normally ask for directions at least three times when I come down. Fuck knows why. I'm the least approachable person in the world, with my permanent scowl and sunglasses to avoid eye contact. Anyway, the gent wanted to find the British Museum. Having just walked past it, I was able to fulfil his request faultlessly. Here's a picture of the British Museum. There's a huge building site next to the British Museum. It can't all just be for its extension. I'll investigate next time I go down. Google Maps will route me that way anyway, wherever my destination. Right, it's time for this artistic imposter to take his medication. But please visit Tate Britain. If only one of you goes, I'll promise not to go on about how much I hate that interfering doctor for restarting my heart outside that pub all those years ago and how I wish I didn't have to endure this so-called life. There's no joy. Have fun. Aside. That was the last review of Tarquin's I can find, and so the last of the Tarquin Visit series. Perhaps if Charlotte takes him back, he may exit from hiding under the stairs and start writing more reviews. But it looks like Erased Culture need a new reviewer.